beautiful people welcome to kate space welcome to my channel i'm kate from pixie k designs and i've got a haul craft supplies video for you today uh if you're interested in looking at uh sort of vintage and op shop hauls for uh, things you could use in your journals or your paper crafts then yeah hang on in there now a while ago i went and visited my friend barb and we met in a little town called topo uh, which is by a big lake and it's probably about two hours drive for me and just under one for her and we met there and we wanted to go to an an uh, antique shop that two of our fellow New Zealand friends had uh, junk journalists had been to uh, Tracy J who uh, had bought some things there and also Pauline McIntyre who is a great friend and so she had been there and told me about it and uh, for those of you who are part of our Junk Journal Collective New Zealand, you will have seen some of the things that Pauline had got there. Anyway, I wanted to share what I found. The main thing that he had was postcards. He said those are his bread and butter. He sells them mostly for a couple of dollars, um, a couple of dollars each, which is a really good price. And so I did buy some. I probably... Oh, did I need them? Well, maybe not, but they are a lovely thing to pop into a journal. Some of these I'm going to attempt to scan and share with you guys if I can in, in that form because some of them are very beautiful uh, and some will go into journals. But yeah, they it was oh, he had boxes and boxes and it was just a real joy to flip through them and have a look and I had to put some back because I had too many and you know two dollars each they do actually add up very very quickly so but I was really really thrilled with the ones that I've bought and Barb bought some too the other thing I bought which I didn't need as such because I do have a lot of these and these are pianola rolls but I really really love the header on this one so I am going to attempt to scan this and share it with you somehow um, my scanning skills, I can, I mean, I know I can scan it, but getting the colours and things accurate is a struggle for me. But I am going to try, try and get it right. So I will be scanning this one because I love it. And I don't see many with the beautiful headers. Most of the headers I've got, while they are beautiful, are uh, that sort of brown, brown one. And so finding something like that to me was, was, a, was a treasure and, um, yeah, I had to bring it home. He had some first day covers. These were the ones I decided to bring home with me because I like the size of them. They're, they're long. They had some beautiful stamps on them. Uh, so yeah, I was really pleased with those. I don't can't tell you how much a lot of this was. I decided to bring home an empty cigarette collector's album because I loved the cover and I will use the the pages in here too i actually thought they were kind of a green color but i think they're probably more of a dark gray black color and i will probably use the chop this um, cover up and use it as uh you know use it for a, a book a journal cover i found this which i'm always on the lookout for it only has a a handful of blank pages on it but this one is a nice old one with the raised printing of the lines on it and so I'm really really pleased to have found that it will be used sparingly and possibly at least scanned or photocopied I then chose another empty album this is obviously a postcard album I will use these pages and I hope to make something out of the cover as well so I love this really old aged card for making covers. Look at the lovely inside of that as well. So that will be made into something. So what else did I get? Oh, he had a dish of mother of pearl buttons. They were five for a dollar. And so I chose out the ones that I wanted. And so I have a lovely big collection of those now. And I'll be happy to be using those in my projects this was a little bit of a big spend this tiny little old vintage key i had to have it 
I don't know if it's for a padlock, a desk, maybe a jewelry box, but it's really tiny uh, and I love it. I think that will possibly, probably, almost definitely be going on my pin board that sits in front of my desk because I don't think I'm going to be able to part with it. So that was everything I bought at the antique shop. I really enjoyed looking through his things. Some of them were a little too expensive for me. But he said he had a lot more in his garage, but, you know, he was very non-committal about showing us anything or bringing anything extra or making a time that we could, could see what else he had. So I think... Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I find that some people who own these shops, they don't actually want to part. They're in love with their old things too, and they don't really want to part with them. Right. After that shop, Barb and I went to some of the local op shops, and I'll just quickly go through some of the things that we found. Now, these op shops were that day in Topor, and also uh, the next day, because I stayed the night at her place, we went to some op shops or thrift stores in Rotorua and I managed to find some safety pins which I had been after to rust and I've got some rusting as we speak uh, and I also found these paper clips. Now these paper clips are old, the old steel kind of heavy duty ones. They're much, they've got much more heft to them than the sort of silver ones, modern ones you buy now. So I love those and they rust up really beautifully. Just some thread some more mother of pearl buttons that just sort of dangle from a one hole they'll be lovely just to hang from a from a safe safety pin i bought these these all had records in them and you know i just love this old brown paper it has a quality that the new brown paper doesn't have so this will be used for backing things and i sort of ummed and art about it because they did have the LPs in them and it meant that I had to throw them out and I felt actually guilty about that but at least I'm saving the paper right so yeah I bought those <laughs> madness probably I bought these because I wanted to use the back of of these images I want to use this really old paper so some of it I won't use because it's got script on it or I may but I really wanted to use these blank things. I love backing my tags and things with the old paper that's already aged. You don't need to do anything to it because it already looks, well, it already is old. So you don't have to do anything. And I love not having to age things if I don't need to. Uh, Barb found me this tucked away somewhere amongst books. This is a little bit more modern than the other one that I, that I purchased, but and it's a bit thinner, but again, it will be used, absolutely be used, so I'm thrilled with that. I found this big pad of sort of sketch paper, uh, so that will probably be dyed or used as is. I found this, and I wasn't sure, there were three of them. It's an unfinished tapestry, so as you can see, the background hasn't been done. I really loved the image and I like the idea of maybe having this on a journal cover or something. I'm not really sure. I only bought one. They weren't super, super cheap. Otherwise, I would have bought two of them. There were two the same as this image. I think it maybe goes that way. Two the same as this image and then one a little bit different had a butterfly as well. I won't be inclined to finish it myself because that would involve buying wool. And I don't know how old it is. It feels, it looks really quite new. But I wanted it and Barb kind of said you should buy it. You could make a journal cover out of it. So we'll see what happens with that. I found this little sort of, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, numbers book with, you know, it's got the the ink stuff at the back. I ripped that in half and gave some to Barb, but I like the paper. Barb found this, and I was not sure about it. It's got a whole lot of Italian places in it. It's super, super shiny, but actually, again, the back of it 
is this beautiful aged paper so i think that will get used at least for that but this cover is gorgeous it's very very damaged and fragile but look how beautiful that is so yeah purchase that for next to nothing another music cover um nice size of music pages inside as well with a lovely with lovely uh font but i really bought it for that funny story about these barb goes oh here's some christmas tree charms and i'm going but why are they why are they called cake charms are they for putting hanging on a cake anyway i opened them when i got home they're cake charms of course aren't they they're not christmas trees oh talk about dozy i'm just laughing so hard about that i think it's hilarious because they weren't in the packet like that they were in the packet and they were hidden behind this label so you could see sort of part of them and you couldn't but you couldn't see the top so they kind of do look like christmas trees well they don't now i know that they're cake chart i mean honestly how dozy could two old ladies be i think it's really funny uh a stamp album thing the pacific stamp album now this is quite cool it it, it has this thing that you put things in <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but it kind of expands out like that and then it clamps down on things that you can put in there but anyway whether i use it for that or for the board it's got really nice condition board so it would make a beautiful journal cover because they're just in such good nick so there's that and then i found some business cards that you can put through your printer I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I thought I'd grab it anyway. And then some matte photo paper. And then these pictures, which I basically purchased because I wanted the card that they're on because it will back things. And then also they were on these cards as well. So I both, they, were, they weren't expensive. I just didn't want the pictures, but I wanted the, the paper. And I often buy things for that. And I'll just quickly flip through some things that Barb had then collected for me. And she often sends me these things. and I, But I came home with them. Now, she had been given a whole heap of postage stamps. So I stocked up my supply of the ones that I'm a little bit short of. So I've got a beautiful supply. And I put them all in these beautiful old um, aged envelopes that she had. She gave me this lovely Merry Christmas stamp, which I'm hoping that I'll be able to use in uh, my Christmas makes coming up. And now we are six book, which has got some beautiful aged pages in it. They're always lovely with Winnie the Pooh and Christopher Robin. This beautiful Flower Fairies uh, book. Oh, it's got some pressed flowers in it even. A pressed flower. The Flower Fairies Gardening Year. So these are a great size, these pages, that you could just pop straight into your journal. Oh, look, it talks about drying. Oh, I might actually read this book. Planting a Wild Garden. Yeah, so some diary for November. So yeah, lovely pages that could go into a, a gardening journal. Yeah, so I'm really, I love that. Thanks, Barb. A children's book, Our Old Nursery Rhymes. So this is a lovely old, very old book. And taped up there with some quite cool illustrations in it. You know, these uh, two coloured illustrations that they did back in the day. And there's a couple of coloured plates in here, I think. This one's my favourite, Little Bo Peep. It's a beautiful illustration. And yeah, just some little things. Tom Tom the Piper's son. So yeah, only a few coloured illustrations and obviously, you know, there's some scribbling in here like there often is. So this is three colours here. Oh no, it's really only two, green and pink. So that's a lovely book. And then this beautiful book, look at the cover on that one. So I think that might become a journal cover. And there's some lovely illustrations in here. Even, even just the black and white sort of sketches are lovely. But there are also some beautiful coloured pictures in here. We've got this one. Uh, this, this is my favourite with the swans. How adorable is that? 
We've got some lovely plain boxed paper here that you don't see very often. Well, you do. You see it often. But I love it and I use it. Barb had some beautiful stamp albums that have lo had lovely paper in them, so she tore some of the paper out for me. Got these lovely pink lines on it. So that will find its way into journals. She had found some doilies, some different coloured ones, and so she gave me some of the blue ones, which are really pretty. She gave me some graph paper, which is great, because I go through a lot of that. And she gave me one of her manuscript books, which I feel very lucky to have. So that has really stopped me up on some blank manuscript paper. So I'm super excited about that. She had these very cool uh, record LP covers, which are in this really heavy, beautiful paper. And they've got this, they're obviously from a library. So you could withdraw them and then return them. And so I chose three of those that she said I could have. I love all the stamps on them. I love this one here. This one's cool with its numbers. So they're cool. I will be using those. She had some music manuscript covers. Now these are all a bit, they're very old and damaged. This one's a beautiful ballet one in that gorgeous blue. Now these need to be used and saved quick smart. I'm hoping that I can get these big um, ugly labels off them. But again, this one is not too bad. And if I get onto it and get some of that tissue on the back, and strengthen it, it will be really good for a, a trifold or maybe even a journal cover. I mean, how lovely would that be on the front of a journal? But at this stage, if I don't do something soon, they won't last long. This is some lovely pink paper. This is absolutely stunning, but again, it is so fragile and has not much life in it. Twelfth Night, I mean, that is just beautiful. I love it. I have this one and mine is in pretty bad disrepair as well. This one is just about had it. So I'm going to have to see what I can do to save some of that. And again, this one's got a terrible label on it and it's in pretty bad condition. So I want to see if I can try and save that. I mean, even these pieces, if it's for collage with these beautiful stamps on them. Got this green one again. They need some TLC and I'm hoping I'm going to be able to save them. This is a huge one, this beautiful green. It's massive. But yeah, that will get used. She gifted me this Christmas craft uh, scrapbook paper thing. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to use that in some Christmas crafts. And then also these scrapbook papers, which I have used in the past and really loved. I will probably uh, copy dye the backs, but these look lovely in journals. So these will find their way into some journals. I love this one. Um, and I haven't seen them around for a while. So that was pretty cool. Thank you, Barb. Um, so yeah, so those are the hauls and those are the things we found in the the antique shop and op shops in Topo. I've just discovered there's four local antique shops that I haven't even had a look at recently, so or at all. I, I tell a lie, not recently. I've never been visited them. I kind of knew they were there, but I haven't been. So that's a little trip for the future, but not now. I have to put all this stuff away. I want to use some of it before I go out and buy anything else that's getting a little bit hectic in here. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of those things. Any questions or queries, just ask below. I'll try and remember to, uh, you know, um, link all the things I talked about below if there was anything. And yeah, I'll see you again soon in the next video. Bye.